Hey, my name is Bhavani Khola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about educational technology, tools, tips, and tricks. I try to upload two videos per month at least. So if you don't want to miss out on those tips and tricks, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Microsoft is trying to keep up with the high demands of the technical industry by its constant updates. The updates could be as simple as content camera to Microsoft Mesh. But today's video is definitely not about Microsoft Mesh. It's all about content camera. So let me quickly take you inside my classroom and review this content camera update as an educator. I want to try this out in my classroom, in the classroom whiteboard, and also use the document camera with my printed worksheets. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. in my classroom and I'm trying to test the new Microsoft content camera. I really wanted to test it in a classroom environment just because things are going back to normal and instructors maybe want to have a hybrid class or use their classrooms to teach online. So this is my classroom environment as you can see here's my desktop. I do have a regular Logitech webcam and I want to see the quality of the video when I save it and record it as well and I want to see what good job Microsoft does projecting my whiteboard into the Teams meeting. So let's get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and click join now. Here's my meeting and I'm gonna wait till it's gonna let me in. And once it does, I'm gonna expand my window. I don't wanna invite anyone today. I'm gonna close the participants. And the first thing I wanna do is to make sure I record it because I definitely want to see the quality of the recording as well. And as you can see, it's a very normal classroom setup, very normal webcam. I'm going to close the transcript as well. Just making sure it's being recorded. That is perfect. The first thing I want to do is project my whiteboard. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to click share content, content camera, click on whiteboard, and it's going to say share a whiteboard, point your camera to nearby whiteboard to detect it. Got it. And it's looking for the whiteboard. And as you can see, it kind of adjusts itself make sure it is parallel to the surface and I'm going to click share and here you have an option to overlay as a presenter here you have an option to detect the edges I always recommend using this you have an option to rotate I'm not going to do that now and I'm going to click share if you're not happy with your whiteboard you can always go back to your settings make sure you scan that again scan again and there is the whiteboard Give it a second so it adjusts itself and then click share. Now that the whiteboard is adjusted, it feels like I'm ghosting myself, but that's absolutely okay. Here you have an option to overlay or don't overlay. So if you don't overlay, what happens is your face will be projected, but the writing in the back will not be as clear as it's supposed to be. So let's try both of them. So to start off, I'm going to pretend like I'm teaching. So today's topic is from chapter five. It's about z-scores. And the formula for z-score is x minus mu over standard deviation. As you can see, the writing has been projected and been highlighted. And it's using automatic contrast too because it's ghosting me. Now let's use a different color. So mu is equal to, yes, blue looks good. Population mean, population mean. Let's use a red color. This is all the colors I have. Uh, this is population, standard deviation. And as you can see, when I overlay myself, it's kind of focusing on the writing. And let me make sure I started the recording. Yes, I did. Just always cross-checking. And as you can see, it's ghosting me. But if you want to talk to your students, maybe go back here and click Don't Overlay Presenter. And now let's go back and see. Overlay Presenter. It's highlighting the text. So it does show the black properly, the, Z, uh, the blue colors and the red. Now I'm only looking forward to seeing the recording to see how and what the quality of the recording is going to be. But so far, Microsoft did a good job. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when I share this as a video. So I'm gonna click stop sharing and click on share content again. Content camera, so instead of whiteboard and document, I'm gonna go ahead and click video for now. 
So when I click on video, again, it's just a regular video. So I don't think I want to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to change my content type from right here to document. And I'm going to say, got it. And I'm going to share this. So the difference between document and the whiteboard is, I think it's projecting the entire screen when I check document. Let's try one more time to see how different this is from whiteboard. So whiteboard, got it. Uh, share. There you go. That's the whiteboard sharing. It's adjusting itself and making sure the whiteboard is parallel or in the right position for the students. Now let's go back to setting here and change this to a document. And say, got it. Uh, it is adjusting itself to the document also, and it does give me options of overlaying myself and not overlaying myself. So now let's go ahead and try something else. I do have a worksheet for my students, and I want to make sure I use my webcam. What if I don't have a whiteboard when I'm teaching from home? And I want to use my worksheets because I don't have an iPad, I don't have a tablet to write, but I have my old school pens and paper. So let's test this out. I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to stop sharing. And I am going to position my camera or my webcam in such a way that it points to my document. Uh, this is a challenge here. And I'm going to click share content, content from camera, and I'm going to click document. And I'm going to say got it. So it's automatically scanning for the document. And let me see if I can rotate it because it kind of looks flipped in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to use this rotate option. Rotate. Rotate again. And that's perfect. And I'm going to click share. Ah, the quality is not that good. But let me just pretend like I'm explaining. So this is... A positive linear pattern. This is a positive linear pattern with one deviation. And I'm going to use different colors here. This is negative. And this is negative but weak. And make sure you understand. I'm just using a blue color here too. And at the same time, I'm recording everything so I can see. So if you have a pen and paper, you don't have to project your whiteboard. You can use your webcam and project your worksheet and use your handy dandy colorful pens. I highly recommend using a darker color pen because it can pick up the quality of uh, your pen as well. So this is about this. This is this. So far, so good. Uh, I think the black color is better. And there you go. I do have an option to rotate this as well. Once this is done, I am going to, let me see where my share button is. I'm going to click stop. And I want to see if I can use the whiteboard option in my document. So I'm going to click share, content camera, whiteboard. Got it. Yeah, it is scanning my document as a whiteboard too. Perfect. Now let me go ahead and flip this or rotate this. And share this. And now let me just write something. Oh, that's good. There you go. So I think the document and the whiteboard are pretty much the same. But when you use the whiteboard, the real whiteboard, it kind of projects itself to uh, make it parallel to the screen, not at an angle. So that's about testing for Microsoft Teams inside a regular classroom setup. And uh, again, I'm using a very plain Logitech webcam. So far, it's doing a good job projecting it. But I want to see the audio quality as well. This is for instructors who want to use their classroom setup to teach their classes at the same time project or have an online meeting for the students who cannot make it to classes or even have a hybrid setup for students or even record their classes. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learn how to use the new Microsoft Teams content camera update. I hope you learn how to use the whiteboard, the document and the live video along with changing your edges, your overlays and much more. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe.
If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be educators who want to teach in class and online at the same time, and they can make use of this wonderful content camera update. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas, and Technology Playlist. Don't forget to check them out. And also, please don't forget to comment in the comment section below what you like and dislike about this new content camera update. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.